Welcome to the Dude Show Podcast, starring Patrick and Chris, with updates from our sexy bosom blessed news girl and commentary from producer Lewis. Clothing is optional for this broadcast, so grab yourself a whatever, sit back, and prepare to eat pie like you're on death row, you son of a bitch. And without further ado, let's fire this motherfucker up. Yeah. Yeah. God. You know, guys, it's good to be here. Uh, I had a, uh, I lost my cool today. I don't often lose my cool. I, uh normally always have a little edge to me, but I, I know how to keep it on, uh, you know, keep it cool. Keep you're it like, cool. You're like the Fonz. You always keep it cool. Yep. Yep. But today I, I lost my cool. I, I, I feel that, you know, it was reasonable how I lost my cool, but well, let me just get into it. And, and you guys tell me if, if what I did was, was behaving badly. I was uh, taking an elevator ride up to uh, the eighth floor. I, as you know, I'm a very important person. You are. Oh, yeah. A lot of things going on. Big cheese. All the time. So important. Yeah. I'm a big cheese. It was a doctor's appointment, though. <laughs> Proctologist? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, guy, no. Yeah. Using the whole fist, doc? Doctor's appointment. Yeah. Mm. So it was on the eighth floor. It's in one of these tall office buildings in Los Angeles. And uh, so I hit, uh, I walk in the elevator and I, I hit the eighth, uh, eighth floor. Uh, before the door closes, uh, a uh, older gentleman with his, what I would assume, his two younger daughters, uh, one probably three, the other seven. All right. Okay? The cute kids. Yeah. Cute kids. Yeah. Lookers. Um, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> we talked about that. They're too young to be lookers. I, I, they, they were cute kids, yeah, though. Yeah. yeah, cute. Exactly. That's so, what I mean. So uh, they walk in, walk in the uh, little elevator box there and... Uh, so I'm like, uh, I'm in a rush, by the way. I'm a little late. And you never know with these doctor's appointments. Maybe they're going to cancel your appointment. True. You know, uh, this was maybe an STD check. I don't know. I'm, I, say maybe. it was. M- maybe. <clears throat> so in the elevator, uh, when the little seven-year-old walked in, uh, she hit every single goddamn button. They love that. Oh. Playing with the really? little lit, lit up buttons. <laughs> they still do that? It's a good yeah. time. Yeah. I still do that. And... Uh, I was not happy about this. Understandable. <laughs> were there were there reprimands? Did you reprimand? Was there was there a uh, a dressing down? No, no. I really? uh, I tried to play it cool, which is the theme. Like the fonts. Going with this, yeah. and um, so but we were on the L. There's like a box that has an L there, and then uh, but I'm watching lobby. That's what. Yeah, that's where I was originally. That's where this all <laughs> not, transpired. That's not what the, that L stands. Not for. the lighthouse. No. Nope. Yeah. Right. No, but we go to the second floor and it goes boop. And each one of these goddamn things takes about a minute for the door to open up, uh, waiting oh, for yeah. somebody to come in, mm-hmm. closes. Uh, third floor. Now, I have to tell you, what I'm waiting for at this moment is for Dad to say, "Hey, daughter, this man over here, he." He's going really high up in the, you know, in the building. You've delayed his time. That was not nice. A teachable moment is where yes. I'm going with this. Right. For yes. the daughter. Look, I don't blame her. She's a little kid. She likes to play with lit up things. You know, I was a, I was a Buttons. kid. I used to I used right. to like play with things that l- l- had lights. Yeah. <laughs> Headlights. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honk honk. honk. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, nice. Chris is making a, a boob. Uh, yeah, right boobs. There. Nice. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Uh, that's right. Uh, so, um, but what happened is uh, dad didn't say anything. So by the time we hit the, the fourth floor, I'm starting to get pissed because they're not saying anything. We're, we're, we're spending a minute at each floor, okay? So as we get to the fifth floor, I get a little angry. Mm. Uh-oh. I'm, I'm ready to unload on dad. Uh-oh. The anger Tell him what a swimming. horrible father he is <laughs> and what, what a little demon he's actually really creating because he's not using this moment to go, this man right here, standing beside you, you fucked with him. This was wrong. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you're so, in LA. You're not in Boston, man. All right. Like, fine. Like, fine, Chris. Okay. Fine. Different rules there. Yes. Okay. Yes. Different. Different rules of parenting for sure. So the sixth floor, I decide I am going to get out of that goddamn elevator, and I'm going to 
there's four of them there. So I'll just go across the hall sure. and get into another elevator. Or take the stairs the take, next Oh, yeah, or get some air. exercise. Dear God. Yeah, I didn't think of that one, Beth. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to get out and take the Passive Aggressive Express straight to, straight to my destination. <laughs> well, that's what I was thinking. I don't want this to turn into right. something ugly because I could have killed that man you in could that have. elevator. Oh, yeah. And can you imagine the, the trauma that I would have, you know, brought to those two little she children? She would have been a good girl then. I, by the way, I did size the dad up. I could have taken him. Oh, yeah. I could have taken him down. And those two little fuckers, I could have killed them. <laughs> and if there weren't any, if there weren't any ca- no, oh, seriously, wow. if there weren't any cameras, this did run through my mind. If there weren't any cameras in that building, I would have walked out of there, gotten away with it. You ever <laughs> see the movie The Devil? Thought, no, no, you thought of you murder. Feel tension in the air right now. No, yes, no. I can. Uh, there was a lot of tension in that I'm elevator. An and then, so get this: so sixth floor, I got two more floors to go. I say, fuck this. But I don't say it. I say it in my head. Mm. Right? I say it in my head. I don't right, talk to right, them. Right. I'm trying not to scare the children. Mm-hmm. I walk out of the elevator. As the door closes, Dad says, well, he's having a bad day. And <sighs> when I heard that, I turned around. I did a 180 as quick as I could, but the door is closed. Yep. Okay? So yeah. I knew they oh, were no. going above me. It's only 12 floors. Oh, God. Oh, no. I'm on the eighth floor where I'm going to go. No, no, no. So they're going to be the 9th, 10th, 11th, or 12th. I start running up the stairs because I'm going to beat the shit out of this motherfucker. Oh, come off it. Yeah, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill this man. <laughs> because rather than make this a teachable moment about how he held up someone else's time that day, right? he chose to tell his little children, what you did was fine, okay? And now this guy's an asshole mm-hmm. for being... Uh, unhappy about that. Yeah, being impatient. Okay, as I'm running up the stairs, I realize that I'm a fucking lunatic. Okay, no. I am. Y- y- you think? No. Well, I, well Chris, I'm, Pat, I'm not judging. No, no, I would have no, done I'm, the same thing. I, I, I would have, I would have blown up. I would have done the same thing. I'm, really? not, I'm not judging you. Really? Well, okay, I'm, 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 I'm on I'm your page. Judging. I was hoping you were going to be on my side. Oh with yeah, this, Chris. Yeah. I'm Shocker. a lone wolf. Always. Shocker. So I get up the stairs and I say, Nah, just it's the eighth floor now. Just go to your goddamn thing but it got me thinking i experienced this quite a bit um these parents here in los angeles as as you were pointed out earlier perhaps this is not something that happens in other places in america or perhaps the world but i've noticed quite a bit that uh the parenting out here it's very new agey which is that the kids can do no wrong right i kind of hate it uh i've experienced this firsthand in movie theaters uh, waiting in line. Let me tell you where the movie theater thing happened. Stop going to G-rated right. movies, maybe. Yeah. No, no, no. I wish I went it went to go see Wally or fucking Spaghetti Fallen from the Clouds, whatever that new thing is. <laughs> Cla- with a chance of meatballs. But I can't yeah. tell you how many times I'm on a date going to a horror movie at like 10.30 at night and there's a fucking infant in there or a four-year-old yeah. and the parents are letting the kids talk or cry or whatever the fuck they're doing. I'm really displeased with this. Mm. So I pose the question to the team here because I always look for you guys for answers because I respect what you guys have to say. You're so smart. Look, I don't have all the answers, but you guys sometimes help me figure things out. We do. All right. So are these people creating demons? Have you experienced this? Oh God. Have you experienced this firsthand? And if you have, have you held yourself maybe in a, you know, in a better way than I did today? I almost killed a man. Okay. I've experienced this at a more intense level than anyone because I've been a nanny for the last six years to celebrities in Los Angeles. Um, So I have some pretty interesting stories, and I would definitely agree with you. I'll tell you really quick, my my worst experience with this was a a 12-year-old boy who called me the (laughs) C-word. Called you Candace? That's not even your name. A Cretan? Yep, yep. Oh. Um, Hated him. Hated him so, so bad. Uh, had to just basically taxi him and his uh, rotten friends around all the time. One day came home, his, his mother was a supermodel. They lived in Beverly Hills. They were Republicans. It was the worst. Um, the son pulled out his iPhone in the kitchen one night and he said, Mom, I need the new iPhone. There's a new one out. And she was like, Son, you just got that one. That's a brand new one. And he said, Mom, I want the new one. And she said, No. And so he turned on the sink. And he ran his iPhone under the water. And then he looked at his mom and he said, now can I get a new one? And I thought for one moment that she was going to really lay into him, that this is my moment to watch him get grounded for life. And instead she pulled out her wallet 
pulled out her credit card, uh. gave it to me, and said, Bethany, will you please go to the Mac store and get him a new iPhone? His name's Damien. He was in the only, <laughs> this little son of a bitch. So I took mommy into the other room and quit my first nanny job. I told her. Good for you. You are creating a demon and I will have no part of it. So I left. Now, let me ask you this, though. Did you... Did you uh, tell the little kid that he's a piece of shit too. I would have walked out the door and said, I bid you adieu, but I also want to punch that little kid I in the face. I did end up posting a Facebook status and was friends with his older sister and he read it and I wrote that he was a demon and the mom gave me a phone call and gave me a piece of her mind. But, you know, good. she deserved it. They were terrible, terrible people. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I will say that, but I also say that you probably should take a Valium or do some yoga. What, me? <laughs> yeah. Because I, under, I understand the frustration, right? We live in a city. We live in Los Angeles. People are annoying. But to spend even more of your day to try to chase these look, people down. Look, I don't want to go to jail for killing somebody, okay? But I will say this. That person in the elevator, if I had done that, if I hit all the goddamn buttons in an elevator, I would have been beaten down in front of everyone. Uh, th- my my mother or whatever guy she was shacking up with would have punched me in the elevator. I totally get it. I grew up I'd in Kentucky. I was beaten by my friend's parents Yo, when I yeah. was a little kid. I was beaten by other people's parents. Yeah, I got hit with the fly swatter quite a few <laughs> times. Anything that was around. No my flies on you. My mom used to go into the kitchen and like rattle the wooden spoons. It's still that sound, like if someone's baking and they rattle wooden spoons, my butt still clenches from that my brother kicked me in my asshole so far i'm pretty <laughs> sure that he got one toe in he got one toe deep in my ass and i didn't even do anything that wrong he put his toe yeah. in your butt slipper he put his toe in my fucking asshole now let me tell you something <laughs> though. i i, I want to say this i'm not a goddamn hypocrite okay because i have a nephew which uh i will well, let me back right let me digress a lot of people would say, hey, old man, you don't have kids. When you have kids, you realize that you want to do everything for them. You want to protect them. Yeah, you want to protect them, but you want to turn them into narcissistic fucking monsters, okay? So last year, my sister-in-law came out here with my two nephews. They're robots. Uh, they don't mm. talk too much. Uh, I don't actually like them that much. Uh, but uh, they came out here. But I decided to treat them to uh, Universal Studios, Okay. So they came out. We go. Uh, we do Universal Studios. They didn't really enjoy it because they're robots. And uh, anyway, Aww. they they decide later that we're go- uh, sister in law and the two kids. By the way, get these names: Garrison and Benjamin. Benjamin bon- with an bon- H. That's what my brother and his sister. Benjamin. Oh, what are you doing over there, Mikey? All right. I so like those names. We decide we're going to go to uh, Bubba Gump. Bubble gum, uh, shrimp company, yeah, naturally. Bubble gum, so whatever yeah. the fuck that is. So uh, we're sitting down there, and uh, the waitress comes over and says, "Hey, I'm ready to take your order." And uh, the sister-in-law says, "Yeah, yeah, we're ready." And uh, so she turns to the the three-year-old and the and the five-year-old, and she goes, "All right, what do you guys want?" And, you know, a three and a five-year-old, they're like drooling on the menu. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. Right. She goes, uh, "By the way, I'll tell you what the menu has: uh, fish sticks." Uh, uh, Chick, uh, chicken uh, tenders, right. French fries, grilled cheese, macaroni, and cheese. Okay? Yeah. Carb City. Uh, yeah. And by the way, you get a free ice cream cone Ooh. with the kids' meal. With Let's that. go right now. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Delicious. So uh, the waitress is sitting there. By the way, busy restaurant. <laughs> busy restaurant. So I feel bad. I'm s- sitting with the two robots and my sister-in-law. <laughs> and then uh, so uh, she goes uh, – w- she's holding the waitress there and she goes, uh, Benj- Benjamin uh, – uh, Garrison, what do you want? And uh, they're like, eh, 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 eh. and I'm like, hey, uh, I turn to the, I feel bad. I go, hey, waitress, uh, we'll, we're cool. Come back in five minutes. So then we make some small talk. I'm hoping that they uh, figure out their order by that point. Waitress comes back in five minutes. Uh, she does the same act again. Hey, uh, Benjamin, uh, <laughs> Garrison, what the fuck do you want? Oh, no, she doesn't say what the fuck you want. She said, what do you want, honey? And uh, they go, eh, 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 eh. and I go. They'll uh, take chicken tenders and uh, mac and cheese. And she goes, no, 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 no. We don't know what they want yet. And I go, no, 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 we know. They're three and five years old. <laughs> They'll eat what we order them. She goes, no, no, no. Uh, Garrison, do you want uh, a grilled cheese? And uh, Mara, the meatloaf. <laughs> or meatloaf. Fuck. <laughs> or meatloaf. That's what I was thinking. I want to rip these kids' heads off, and I also want to kill her. Uh, I said, I, I again interrupted her. I said, they'll take the order that I just ordered. And she goes, no, they won't. 
And she turns to him. Poor waitress. And finally so she awkward. just goes, I don't know what I'm doing. She finally writes down. This is, by the way, five minutes out of her time. And people people are like pounding on tables like, ah, I'm ready to order from like the tables over there. Uh, Baba and uh, so then when the lady takes the order, she goes, so I heard there's a free ice cream cone for all of us uh, right. when we ordered the kids meal. And uh, she goes, yeah, there is. The nice waitress. And uh, then she goes, uh, what flavors do you have? Oh. I said, they'll take a chocolate. <laughs> they'll take a fucking chocolate. Both of them. They're going to fucking take a chocolate ice cream cone right now. She goes, Garrison, <laughs> do you like chocolate? No. She wants them Go to be away. independent I am paying thinkers. for this. Go away. Go away. So I told her to fuck off. They're going to eat what I'm ordering, what I'm paying God, for, you and do. done. Need a volume. I walk meditation. the walk. No, 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 no. Yeah. Bethany, deep I breaths. walk the goddamn walk. Oh, yeah. You're the, you're the goddamn kid's meal Nazi. Yeah. That's, that's what you are. You're a oh, child you'll murderer. Get you, you'll Hold get on. what you get. Hey, like it. Judgy McJudged. I'm not judging. I'm just saying. You it's would an observation. this not if judgment. you were watching this. She, Fuck that. She, I am not elect, no. an elected official. It's not a judgment. She's trying to teach her kids how to speak and how to think for themselves. Don't do it on other people's time. I agree with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. She I'm was, starting to get really upset right I now. I can see that. Why? Do not do it on other people's time. We're creating little narcissistic monsters here. Yeah. So that brings us back to the elevator and your time. Yes. Yeah. My got time. it. My time. So. Full circle. <laughs> okay. Chris, you have a, you want to weigh in on this? On which part of it? Do you have any uh, children uh, 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 that we Pat, don't know about? Uh, Pat Hickey, uh, kids meal Nazi? Yeah. Or, the, or the elevator? Uh, you ever uh, deal with a little... Sh- yeah. Little, uh, I'm parent- an uncle. I've a got, par- what, nine nieces and nephews at this wow. point? Wow. But... Uh, back to the elevator, bringing it back to there. I'll stay away from your uh, your kids' meal, uh, iron fisting, and but the elevator was totally wrong. And my thoughts on that are, you know, and if if they were the only ones in the elevator, sure, play. You got somebody else in there, yeah, and they're in there pressing they're pressing their buttons, and it's just like the the dad was like, oh, you know, the, the world is my child's playground, and it's all you know about my kids and in that moment and you're right it was a teachable moment it should have been you know keep your hands at your sides you know you're a little kid keep your hands in your pockets don't touch anything don't touch unless i unless i tell you to touch that what are you doing people have places to go and that's what he should have said but it's california and like you said everything is new age and permissive and you know oh we can't you know we can't uh you know what's the word i'm looking for what are we Come well, on. you don't want to affect the child. Yeah, no, punish. Yeah, exactly, exactly. We can't punish him. We got we can't punish him. No, it's you're uh, having fun. That that guy's bad. He had some place to be, and something to do, and your whimsical childishness. By the way, I hope was, he was, was going to a doctor's appointment where he found out his kids were dying. Wh- wow, wow. cancer. Wow, that's what I. Uh, oh. I could do a whole show on this. Wow. Well, I was yeah. hoping. Yeah, right, yeah, the crowd fine. doesn't like that. Well, I don't give you're, a you're being a little hard. I'm pretty pissed. You're, you're, I understand. You Look, didn't, you my, didn't beat my him, grandmother though, used to take me on day trips with her. Would she bring me to her best friend's place, K- Clara? And they go, uh, <laughs> they give you bags. Those two old, <laughs> those two old bags. They'd uh, say, "Okay, now you're here. Now go outside and play with rocks." Exactly. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh God. You know, you know my, you know my grandmother used to say when we would leave her house. Okay, bye. Good riddance to bad rubbish. But you know. They kept it real. Look how yeah, good you <laughs> turned yeah, out. Exactly. I'm the, I'm the most polite motherfucker you've ever met in your life. Okay, all right. Fine, fine, it's fine. fine. Mike, you want to weigh on this? How was your upbringing? Obviously, you've uh, turned <laughs> out great. Did you get to pick a switch? I think Mike got to lo- do a lot of stuff. You did. He had a very... You were spoiled. Oh, spoiled only child for sure. Yeah, oh, you oh, still, yeah, you're still getting pizzas in the mail. Explains a lot. Explains yeah. a lot. Okay, he's doing great. All right, look, I'm really depressed. But there's one thing that makes me not depressed, as always. What would that be? Well, first off, talking about poop. Oh, yeah. I like that. It makes me laugh. But also playing a game, a challenge. Mm, So competitive. A risk of wills. Poop challenge. Mikey, hit it. Let's play the new game called... Where do you blow it out? Yeah. 
Oh, I've been oh. there. By the way, ACDC's never sounded better. They, ha- <laughs> they haven't. I never. wonder, how did you get Brian Johnson to come over there and do that, man? That's I, a you good know, I, we just found it. It's a lost tape. One uh, of their evidently. B-sides. <clears throat> All right, so guys, here's the game. Here's the game. Every once in a while, as human beings, <laughs> we're, we're really animals, as you know. We, we like think we're better than that, but we're not. You're not. We're not. Because every once in a while, maybe you started the day off with a bran muffin. <laughs> or two. I'm not me, man. Uh, maybe you, Do I uh, look like a guy who starts his day with a fucking bran muffin? No. Nope. Yeah. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you do not, Mike. Uh, maybe you had some chili with some jalapenos. For, for breakfast. Oh, I just made good. some of that. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe you had a, a frappuccino. But either way, now you got to shit yourself. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I've had to do this. That's me every day. And for me, it always happens we're in a place that isn't in my dwelling. That's safe. That safe place, like my home, with no judgmental ears or nostrils. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or, or other, other, other offensive backsides uh, blasting away have... in, in concert with you. <laughs> or that. Or that. Or that. So this game is about that moment in time where you have to, you know, blow some ass kebabs. Oh, yeah. Okay? Oh, yeah. And and, it, and it's not it's not in a place where where you feel safe, okay? So where you well, feel safe? <laughs> <laughs> no, sometimes I've enjoyed it. Come on, you've never had what diarrhea you in your own bathroom and enjoyed it, uh, right, right? But you got to feel I safe. Dig- All right, fine, I digress. <laughs> Can't feel vulnerable. But here's, here's what we're gonna do: just the two of you are gonna play, oh. Richie and Bethany. Oh. I'm gonna pit you two against each other because oh. I know you don't like each other that much. We love Not each really. other. I don't yeah. know about that. It's pretty. Love I and think hate. he really loves me, but well, I don't know. I've listened to the other podcasts. You guys don't really like each other. I, I, I like him. Like. I just don't think he likes me, but I, I pretend he does. Fine. Erroneous. All right. So here's the deal. We've done a coin toss before the podcast tonight to determine who would go first oh, in this okay. game. Bethany, you won. <laughs> and I, so Bethany, I'm gonna give you. There's gonna be two <laughs> scenarios. Neither one of these are ideal scenarios for where you would poop when you get hit with the uh, no. ass, oh, ass yeah, Oh, yeah. I've done this. Oh, man. You need to pick one. Okay. Okay. Now, here's n- not only pick one, but I want to get inside your head. No, uh, you always do. I want to. I want you to lay it out. Like, why? give me your train of thought on why you're making your choice. You here. want me to talk good. Yes. Okay. Talk with your mouth open. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So here we go. Here's uh, round one Laid on me. between Bethany and Mick Ritchie All right. on where would you blow it out? Okay. okay. Uh, I'm going to give you, uh, here's the first scenario, Bethany. Are you ready for this? I'm so ready. Okay. <clears throat> a porta potty on a construction site mm-hmm. that has been clogged with a mound of how can it be clogged? It's just a big hole. No, 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 fills no, up. no, no. It's one of those uh, one of those uh, porta potties with it just got dropped off there. They let it they let it pile up. Okay, so it's like <laughs> just almost go with the game. creeping. <laughs> go with the game. Okay, okay. Go, go with the, the game. Uh, construction site. It's been clogged with a mound of uh, bum brownies from. <laughs> you just wanted to say. <laughs> you just wanted brownies. to say bum brownies. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Uh, with at least five. <laughs> Different contributors. I love when you get the giggles. It's so. No, you can sick. see from the coloration. Easy, Fallon. Wait, wait. All right, Mike. Shut up. Okay. Five different contributors. Five. That's five different okay. levels. You can see different colors. Different levels. I count. It's, I lo- it's like a five-layer. I, I don't think shit. I would look that hard. I don't think I would dissect. Bring your chips. Okay. Or. or. Shadow fly. Okay. Okay. Or. 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 On a construction site. Okay, got it. In a porta potty. Right. With poop in there. Five layers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or uh, option two, in your seat on a on a four hour bus ride to Vegas. <laughs> oh. No, no. With uh, <laughs> three hours left in the ride. Uh-uh. Go. Okay, I would. Ne- Talk me through it. Okay. My initial reaction is I would never poop on a bus. Because everyone is around, and especially if it's like explosive diarrhea, they can hear. And oh, that- oh, I'm sorry. A little spin on this. It's 80-year-old Chinese woman going on one of those gambling uh, betting things. So you don't really care what they think. They're probably pooping in diapers. Okay, still. <laughs> <laughs> still. I do not want to poop on a bus. But- I, don't, I, I don't even think I could poop on a bus. I can't poop when people are like right outside of my door. I have to really make sure that they're... But if you had to... 
Right. If it was just going to happen, I would I would poop back on a construction site. Porta potties don't really there's scare me. There's poop in there. It's very close and there's, there's always flies poop. There's always poop in a porta. You know what I would do? I would take my third option and poop in the bush. Okay, here's the spin. <laughs> <laughs> there's no one around. Like, there's a camera. There's a camera. <laughs> Where's the camera? <laughs> Alan, I would Alan still, Fund, okay. where's the camera? In Listen, the that doesn't change. That doesn't change anything. I would totally, I would, with shoes on, stand on the porta potty toilet and not get my ass anywhere close to the five layers of butt brownies. Is that what you call it? <laughs> close. I didn't call it that, but I would, people that wrote I would this stand. Did. Even though with diarrhea, that probably wouldn't work so good either. But I would, I would, girls are really good at squatting. I'm a really good squatter. Okay, that's pretty good. So I answer. would squat because hopefully they, they weren't around me like right next. But the bus, and then there may be someone waiting right outside of the bus. There's no ventilation. They may be like waiting to come in right next. Well, there is a right and wrong answer in this. Well, it or not. I'm oh. sure I'm wrong. Well, no, always well, am. no, no, no. Let's let's bring it over to Chris and see what he has to say. That was your opinion, right? I, I think it was answered well, but you know, I don't know. Yeah. You so, never Chris, know. porta potty where a bunch of people have pooped, <laughs> or a bus with a bunch of people you could really care less what they think of you. Now, those are my only two choices. That yes, that's okay. how the game. Okay. By the way, if any. If you guys are professionals, if anybody could play this game, they would, but you, they can't. Okay? That's right. It's a difficult game. Exactly. Well, well Patrick, um, as you know, I am a uh, notorious germaphobe. Notorious. If I could, if I could, if I could sleep in, you know, hand sanitizer sheets, I would. Really, I didn't know that about you. Yeah, it's a little. It's a. It's a, it's a thing. I'm trying to work on it. You know, my knuckles get a little raw. From I thought a with too, the beard, you would just... you you would think. You know, I am. You know. I am a paradox. I am a uh, co- walking contradiction, Bethany. All right. All right. So, but uh, I would I would forego uh, the shit's holy mountain <laughs> on the construction mm-hmm. site that's full of you know a bunch of Carl's Junior five dollar chili fucking <laughs> fucking blue cheese fucking hot wing fucking God God only knows. People, I mean, people eat burrito. People eat Seven Eleven burritos for breakfast. Like construction people eat, eat horribly. <laughs> like just Roach Coach, fucking Roach Coach, fucking, fucking burritos. And I can't. Wait, I, are I, you I, talking I, about I, a Los Angeles uh, construction site? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. They're oh, vegan. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm talking about where I live. Um, I would do it on the bus. I mean, it might stink a little bit, but like you said, it's a bunch of it's a bunch of Asian ladies on a gambling trip. Mm-hmm. I would not care. Right. I, I would not. I would not care. Mm-hmm. I would. I would blow it out in there. I would just. I would close my eyes and I would fantasize would like I was. I was in ski club again, mm-hmm. and I ate some bed chili on the mountain. And would you, you know, turn the sink on? Um, to well, cover well, up well, the sound. Chris, probably not. Chris, there's not a. There's not a bathroom on this bus. <laughs> oh wait, no. I, it's I, the I, seats. I, I have to shit my pants. <laughs> okay. Oh, I thought no. there was a bathroom. No, no, That's no. the you, twist. You don't have to shit in your pants, but maybe someone's bag or. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Is there a garbage can the on the bus? Shit. Is there is there a place where I Chris, can is there is a place you, where I can remove my guys, undergarments after I sweat on myself? Chris, <laughs> <laughs> I want you guys to work through this. This is no, the fun I'm, of the I'm game. Working. You're, well, it's almost you're, like you're, Dungeons and Dragons. You're you ever see those details. nerds? You yeah. ever sit on one of those? Oh yeah, yeah. I dated some. I, I'm, uh, yeah. A, I'm a plus five crapper. That's right. <laughs> level five crapper. I'm a level five crapper with a bunch of. Anti. Uh, so you'd shit your britches before you'd go in the porta potty. Um, see, Chris, I, I, what's your I, process right now? Well, if there's ladies going on a gambling trip, they, for a bunch of old ladies, there's got to be a bathroom on that bus. Mm-mm. The game is flawed. Not on this the one. Ga- the game is flawed. All right, Chris. Okay, fine. No, you already made an answer. There though. is a bathroom. So in we're going to stick with that. Yeah, there is a hey, bathroom. Uh, Bethany got a bathroom. Mike, let's go to Bethany first and see if she was correct. She chose to. Uh, w- Mikey, you're in charge of this because you shit a lot. All right. <laughs> Was Bethany I didn't correct? Know. I wish I should. Was a lot. Bethany right? Bethany chose that she would uh, shit up the. Uh, I'd shit up the porta potty <laughs> in a heartbeat. Shitting yeah. up and, the place. And, and Chris, Chris would uh, <laughs> blow out a bunch of Asian broads. On I would in his britches. In my britches. So yeah. who's right? Uh, Bethany is she right? Let's let's know. Is she right? You're right, Bethany. Wow, Mikey oh, likes me tonight. Bethany won. Chris. Zero. And you should probably change your bridges. I'm, I should probably right. change them right now. All right. So we got uh, two more rounds here, guys. I might have uh, just blown it out right now. Just just a spite. Wait, you just put a zero under me here. Come here, spot. 
Give me that. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a one. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, sorry. All right, let's go. Next <laughs> round. Go. Um, next round. Yeah, next round. I'm ready. Uh, next round. All right, so uh, here is the next one. Uh, Chris, your turn to go. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Shit. You just got done having the best second date of your life. Oh, wow. Uh, you go back to a little lady's apartment. Okay. Okay. But the uh, tummy starts to rumbling in that apartment. Now, here's the thing. You have to poop. But here's the spin. <laughs> yeah. It's not a five-story mansion. It's a single. Oh, yeah. Okay. A bachelor. Yeah, it's it's a bachelor, so you uh She's got a half when you're fridge. doing the damage in there, it's always it's gonna be known to her. Right? She's got a hot plate. All this right. might be marriable, marriable, marriable material. Yeah. Yeah. Marriage, wow. marriage material. Wow, yeah. wow, wow. <laughs> okay, okay. Or option number two, you just got hired. You're making a hundred grand a year. Okay? Wow, McRitchie. You Richie. walk into the stall. You greet the boss, the main dude, in the stall. He walks into the stall next to you, but you're ready to explode. You can't hold it back. We've all been there. Mm. Um, and he ain't going anywhere. He's going to sit in that stall next to you. He's pooping too, but not like the level that you're about to explode. Right. <clears throat> so here's your that's your two choices. Uh, apartment with the little lady that uh, you may be in love with, maybe be the uh, you know your, the mother of your children in <laughs> single apartment. Or uh, company okay. boss. And uh, he's sitting next to you while you're going to be, uh, you know, firing off. Well, Patrick, it's like you looked into a crystal ball and you've looked into <laughs> oh. my life. Well, that's, that's why because, because, because I've had this exact conundrum. Um, and I'll tell you exactly what I would do. I would not shit next to the boss. If I had a $100,000 a year job, I would, I would hold it. Really? Good move. Yeah, I know the crowd, doesn't, the crowd doesn't like it, but, you know. But I have been in that situation where I have been on a second date with it's a person. pretty shallow. And and she wanted to have relations with me, but my gut was not cooperating. And all I wanted to do, she lived in Beverly Hills, and all I wanted Fancy. to do was drive back across town so I could just go go home and blow it out, do a little something something. She thought and you then, were and gay, then, and then come then come back and hit it. And she would not let me go, and she just demanded sexual favors from me, and would not let me go. And uh -huh. I'm, like, I'm like holding it in. Will you two either Sorry. Yeah. get a room? And I held it in. You I mean, held it in. I held Did it you in. Have I, sex? I, it's hard. I held it in for that night. I had sex as I'm trying not to shit her bed. <gasps> and while I'm having sex with her, there's a cat in the room, and the cat is licking my leg as I'm doing a terrible Mine impression of too. sex. And I'm just like, oh, God, just don't shit yourself. And okay, it's, it's bestiality. The cat's licking me. This, this is terrible. So you wouldn't shit either places? So, no, I would, I would shit there. Because I ended up shitting there in the morning because I could not hold it anymore. Shit, so I would shit in the apartment. Well, you're single shit. now, so obviously that was a bad choice. If you didn't shit that night, maybe you'd be married now and, you know, very I, successful. This, this is way back. This is the, this is the, this is the right. way well, back I, machine. I'm just saying. This is, this is, yeah, this is, he's a grown-up now. This, he this shits isn't very well. Exactly. Maybe Bethany. In public, all the time. <laughs> all right, uh, Bethany, what's your answer? Well, I'm a female. So I spend at least the first year of every relationship that I'm in pretending that I don't shit. Mm -hmm. Keep it going. So I would I would not shit at his house, and I would shit in front of my boss. Like they can't fire you for shitting, right? Yeah. They can't. Really they can look think down on you. you. They, if anything, no. there's judgment there. If there anything, I would say, listen, I'm really sick, and I would take the half the day off. Because they but heard no, me no. shit, so then they would know that I probably wasn't feeling very yeah, well. Yeah, I know, but they are the damage has already been done. Yeah, you know but I mean? they can't fight. What are they supposed to do? They no, can't no, Bethany, fire their employees you. for it's about shitting. Looking at <laughs> looking you in the eyes so for the rest of your <laughs> life and saying, I I remember I heard that person uh, paint the fucking porcelain. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I've heard people do that. You I know, can't look I in think the, that that would make me more relatable. Everyone shits. Not in my eyes. <laughs> I'll never shit around you. Now. Wow. Promise. Not, not if you have a vagina. But, I, you but don't listen, shit. I care way. I would care way more about the dude that I liked hearing me shit because you know, like if a chick that you had slept with once and you oh. dated her twice took a huge shit in your bathroom, you. Everyone here would never call that bitch again. That's true. God, that God, is God, true. No. Oh, although the boys in this room have no room to judge. No, you don't. You don't. You don't all make right. good choices. So, all right. So I get it. So you guys are once again splitting splitting hairs. We are splitting hairs. Okay, it, fine. It, it'd have to be G Giselle Bunchen or something like that. We're just keeping things like really interesting. Okay, out. so let's bring it to Mikey because he is a expert on shit. Shit. 
Evan, oh, Mike, who's right? right. Uh, let's go to Mick Ritchie. Was he right in his answer? He he, he chose to shit up. No. <gasps> I won both. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you? Do you need fucking... me to break it down? Yes. Yeah. Please, Mike. Please jump in. On Mike. If you yeah. share the walls, you're the brothers of stalls. Like there's no there's no judging there's no shame. Ooh. You, uh, what, brother, what do you what do you been in the army? Stalls. Yeah, it's the bathroom. All right, and that's you fine. You can share a conversation. That man should respect you. You both walk out of there like that's right. Las Vegas. Yeah, you're, it's a bonding experience. He heard you shit, mm-hmm. and you went through that together. Well, I wouldn't enjoy it on a personal <laughs> level. Take a man shit. Well, all right, fine. Uh, there we go. I, I guess we learned a lot here. Uh, Bethany was a winner. Apparently, I'm, she knows where she should. Yeah. Take a dump. Evidently. Yeah. <laughs> Evidently, I've had I, lots of practice. I still have a lot to learn. Yeah, I guess you do. Well, <laughs> You're Bethany, shitting in all the wrong places yeah, with ever, Richie. Yeah, I'm shitting uh, for love. You are not only a winner about pooping, but you're also a winner in my heart about, you know, Life? informing the world about the news. So, baby, please hit it. Tell us. I want to learn. It's time for the Dude Show News Show. <laughs> Prepare to be informed because our news girl is down for almost anything. I feel like the yeah, show went by so fast this time. Wasn't prepared. All right, what's in the news, girl? Okay, our first story comes out of China. A man was supposedly so depressed by his lack of a love life that in a moment of desperation, he cut off his own penis. Shortly after he his at-home amputation, he regretted his decision, hopped on his bicycle, and rode to the hospital. To make matters worse, if that's possible, the man forgot his penis at home, which required him to take a bike ride back home to get the missing member. When he returned again to the hospital, the doctors gave him the bad news that his dismembered member had been without blood for so long that it was now impossible to reattach. All right, so where are we going with this? Uh, uh, dude, n- penis not uh, reattached? or Nope, no penis reattachment. Yeah. Because, you know, I mean, if you cut off your penis, you probably aren't thinking straight. Why do they right? call it a member? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. Because Wandelier. Why is it a member? Uh, it's also Asian, right? Yeah, he was really, really... Um, he didn't know. have much to cut off. <laughs> no. That's so general. That's a I mean, we don't know that. That was racist. Stereotype. Yeah, Generalization. That's, racist. that's so racist. Um, so racist. Um, yeah, but then he rode his bike. Can't you like call a friend? That would be I guess really you don't want to call a friend either, right? He was. Ble- I saw a picture of it. He was just bleeding all over the place. Oh God. Could he well, not? He stood up and ride, or did he like sit down I, and ride? I don't know. I didn't. I, mean, I didn't see really that. Pat, what are you thinking? You're thinking really hard about this. How does it make you feel? Well, no, I I, I want to like figure out if it's better to cut your own penis off or have a woman like standing over you with like uh, a thing of shears, like that broad that cut that. Yeah, uh, there's John been Wayne a lot Mama of that. Off. Lorena Bobbitt. She's yeah. just the most famous. There's actually been quite a few of those instances. And, and guys, I think have actually woken up with uh, with their own penises in their mouths Ugh. after they've cut it well, off. I've seen a couple of those stories too. Jesus. Wow. Yeah. We're going to end up nightmares. Creatures D- D- guys, for the audience, D Rock, he's been on tour for the better part of 25 years with a bunch of bands. You know, he's hard. seen and done a little bit of everything. So, penises and guys' mouths, you know. <laughs> that happens on He's tours. talking about members getting cut off. He's not talking oh. about. Yeah, he's not oh, talking D-Rock, about D Rock on tour. Oh, you were talking yeah, about no. the. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, all right, talking right, about babe. the story. All right, babe. Well, uh, next story. Next story. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> this poor guy. 47-year-old Gary Matthews takes animal loving to a new level. This is not bestiality, though, people. This unemployed IT technician in Pittsburgh spends a large portion of his life pretending to be a canine. He loves running around on all fours, eating his food from a bowl, and even chasing the occasional car. He sleeps inside a giant dog house kept inside his human house. And when Matthew was young, he felt several. Uh, he fell in love with several TV dog personalities. He even planned on living a life in the streets with other dogs. He listens to tapes to perfect his dog language. And now at this point, his friends and family have accepted his life and now call him Boomer. In 2010, he received national notice when he tried to have his name legally changed to Boomer the dog, but was rejected by a judge saying it puts the public welfare at risk. He hopes to find a puppy girl to live his life with and told Vice Magazine that he hopes someday they will find a way to turn humans into dogs. 
You are one pathetic loser. <clears throat> I agree. Uh, this guy should be uh, spaded. <laughs> spaded? I don't know. He wants to be a fucking dog. Cut his fucking He really off. looks like a dog, too, when he, he, he wears like this big Can costume we see the picture? all picture the time. Oh, I think it's um, on my phone. I think his family should call animal control on him and have him come get him with a butterfly like, net and put him in a chemical. You really want to be a dog? There I mean, you go. It's, it's and then put him must, down next week. Must be I just have some like, ex-puppy girlfriends he can have. Oh, God. Look, uh, I beat this guy up in high school. Uh, it's because he you treated it. him like a dog, yeah. <laughs> and that's yeah, why the know, only way yeah. he can feel love now. I slapped him with some towels. <laughs> it's got to uh, be just uh, he autism. Naked. Threw right? water Rubbed on him. His nose and some poop. You know. Let me see what this asshole looks like. Right, yeah. Look, Are it's, you it's fucking it's, kidding me. <laughs> it's made out of it's made out of paper. Well, I can't oh, see God. what the guy looks like, but he's you know, wearing a very uh, well. It's a big it's costume. A dog, a dog costume. All right, what country is this from? This is this <laughs> Pittsburgh, is Pittsburgh, USA, Pennsylvania. Jeez, that's just, a crazy country. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. It is so crazy. Yeah, it's just know, autism, right? Just a little autism. No, that's that's mental illness. That's not autism. Yeah. But his family yeah. has, you know, they're enabling the situation now. And he said, okay, so also when he has to, has to go out in public and take the paper dog suit off, he um, he puts his hair in like little pigtails to look like doggy ears so he can <sighs> never. So does Miley Cyrus. Yeah. Is, is the only oh, thing he eats that's what she's is, uh, doing. Begging strips? Do they only hey. eat like dog treats and stuff? I'd like to meet him. I'd like to pick his brain. I definitely beat this kid up in high school, or someone did. And rightly so, and not <laughs> enough, probably, because if they had beaten him enough, uh, he wouldn't be uh, dressing up in But uh, think about shape. it. At one point, he got more recognition for and more love for pretending to be a dog than what he did for being a human. People liked it. still a loser, it. though. Still a loser, though. Right. Mm -hmm. Right? Can we all agree still a loser? Agree. Poor kid. Agreed. Right. Uh, wow, that depressed me more. All right, what, what else we got, baby? Br bring us up. Okay. Uh, Illinois. 55-year-old man was found in the parking lot of a high school during their prom wearing a pink dress, makeup, and masturbating. Oh, Students oh. noticed the man and promptly informed the police, saying that he was engaging in lewd conduct. When officers approached the man in the car, they were able to confirm his lewd acts by the unmentioned items around him. Ooh. The man was arrested on public indecency and sits in jail with a $50,000 bond. Why? I mean, he was just hanging out in the parking lot. You're not lot. allowed I mean, to masturbate in a dress on school property. Yeah. Like just uh, staring at a kids. A guy likes to dress up like a fucking dog and we're okay with that. <laughs> I mean, really. Well, uh, you know, he was thinking about how he missed out on prom. Like, well, were the unmentionable things? Did he have like a bottle of chloroform, a rag, and some jumper cables? Probably, like, what probably was, some what was lube. Going on there? Look, uh, <laughs> I'm okay with this guy. He was doing it in the car. Uh, <laughs> Re really? No, well, I'm using it in the car. Man, you won't let kid. You won't let kids order their own goddamn ice cream cone. When you're going. You're yeah. this guy jerking off in a the dress on school grounds. They saw him. They saw him masturbating. It wasn't like it's it was prom. private. It's, he's in his own goddamn car. He ruined the prom. I can't oh. get over the dog guy. Sexual predator. Uh, think he, er think the, go the dog guy that. licked his own nuts? I mean, think, did he figure that out eventually? We we we're think pa your past the dog. We're past the dog. This guy, was, you're not allowed to masturbate on school property. First of all, I'm sure that's a rule somewhere. And especially as a grown uh, man no. in makeup. He's, not okay. That, that'll get you sex offender status. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Well, for sure. He was in his own car. They I, said <laughs> there was no... They arrested him. <laughs> You've the done the guy this in the before. Dress. You have done uh, this. Yes. You've, been, you have masturbated uh, in high school parking lots, I've done Patrick. It. Yes, I have. And <laughs> I've also done it on the freeway and uh, in... In people's houses Dear. that I only acquaintances <laughs> to. Look, when a man has to bust bust the nut, he has to fucking do it. And there shouldn't be any goddamn judgment. Sure, I haven't put a prom dress on, but not you yet. Know. There's he still time. Like, he was like Drew Barrymore going back to high school, reliving yeah. his high school days. He wanted to go to the prom, and the idea he got so close, uh, so close, wearing the dress, almost there, <laughs> it turned him on. Well, hey guys, look, we got a couple more uh, news stories to All talk right. about. We have in the house tonight. We've talked about it. You guys oh are fans God. of the podcast. We have at least 60 <sighs> people so excited. that listen to this goddamn thing. I, yeah. And maybe 60. it's maybe like 10 of them me just replaying. It's you. Could, it's could mostly be. you. Okay, fine. Maybe it's me. But we got producer Lewis hey. here tonight as well as D-Rock. The real um, producer Lewis. He's a looker. He is. That a phone time, Lewis. He's a handsome and, man. Uh, Lewis, I, I know you don't have, know how to use a goddamn microphone. All right, so uh, what do you think about this uh, creepy bastard uh, sitting outside a goddamn prom? 
You, sir, are dead wrong. <laughs> Thank I you. am? Both you, Patrick, and Mr. Masturbator in the mean? parking lot. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Look, <sighs> if you got to bust one out, bust one out. But at the same time, that's not what's going on here. <laughs> Go Homeboys to- at the prom, checking people out, whatever, is <laughs> no. Well, no. you know, no. in high school, okay. Lewis, a lot of people graduate at the age of 18. Of <laughs> Regardless. Legal you, Regardless. Oh, my You're, God. Man. Regardless. Uh, Pat, not okay. Pat's being like a jailhouse lawyer on this. You know, most of those kids are 18. You know, not it's, okay. it's, right, really, fine, it's fine. really not a crime. Stay on the microphone, Lewis. Uh, next story, baby. Uh, I want to hear what Lewis has to say about, uh, you know. I want to hear, too. I wanna, okay. I want to hear what he has to say. Uh, so, so next here, um, I believe that this is New York. A woman dressed as an abusive wife for a Halloween pub crawl was arrested, oh no, Michigan, Michigan, was arrested in Michigan on domestic violence charges after allegedly screaming and beating her husband who was dressed as an abused husband. The police um, lieutenant, Scott Servio, who arrested her, said the whole thing was quite ironic. The wife, Christina Crespo, was apparently twice the legal limit of alcohol for driving when the assault occurred. Huh. So, so, so get it? She was dressed as an abusive wife. Her Halloween costume, hmm. right? Her husband was dressed as an abused husband. Got it? Got it. Went, oh, to, a, ha- went, to, a, went, went to a pub crawl, got drunk. She beat his ass. Wow. It's irony. That's wrong. I mean, <laughs> yeah. A woman well, should never actually, hit a man. It, uh, you know, uh, it, it happens more often than you think. Um it goes with, if I may interject here, it goes with my theory that on Halloween, people dress up as what they really are, what they really want to be. Mm. Like that. Oh, yeah. That's just not Halloween for that couple. That's, he likes that's, it. That's, that's every night after, like, she gets a fucking bottle of Shard Deep and just starts wailing on him and starts saying, why don't, why don't you have... Why don't you have a better job? Well, I've dated this couple. He, Why do we have to live in this shitty apartment? You think he apartment? likes it? You think he likes it a little? I mean, he dressed Probably. up as an abusive well, husband. Well, uh, Bethany, from from the perspe- perspective of a man that's been a uh, victim Beaten? of abuse. From, <laughs> um, well, I one time had a uh, wine glass fly by my head. And all oh, well, I it didn't hit was, you. Uh, that's not abusive. Well, under my breath, I whispered bitch to an ex-girlfriend and a full glass of Chardonnay, ironically, oh, Chris, yeah. uh, flew by my head. So uh, I'm not a fan of a uh, woman uh, abusing men. It's wrong. And <laughs> it's always. Have you wrong. ever been hit by a girl, McRitchie? Um, I, there's been attempts. I've had things thrown at me. What do you do? You just restrain them? Yes, just restrain just them. Just tie them back. Yes. Have you guys ever had the cops called, Lewis? <clears throat> We to, know we to, know your girl has to quote Chris Rock. <laughs> I would never hit a woman, but I want to shake the shit out. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I, I've done that. I, I, I've done that. I, I've You've sh- shaken I've sh- her. Uh, I've grabbed a woman by the shoulders and firmly held her. Really? Yeah. Is is shoving hitting? I tried uh, Karamaki hits. No. <laughs> Look, maybe an elbow, loose elbow. Really? <laughs> well, no. I mean, like the dog, you guys like jumped some into crazy me. Crazy like, bitches. Well, I have. I have. I've, ne- I've never. I've That's never. That's another podcast. Um, Never, uh, yeah, we should do a whole segment about oh, the crazy no. bitches. To, to be fair, uh, Pat has also uh, <laughs> probably thrown a couple bar stools past a couple people's heads. Well, those were guys, well. though, Lewis. Come on, yeah, come on, guys. Lewis. They, and they had to come. We're talking about Lewis. chicks. Here. We're talking about chicks here. All right. Uh, so anyway, women deserve it. Who wants? Well, yeah, well, next I, like to be sh- <laughs> I like to be shaken sometimes. Sometimes not, I feel like I deserve forget, it. Let's not forget, she beat the shit out of him. Yeah, that's exactly. right. She that's needs a good shakedown when she gets home. And that happens a lot more than there's a lot of uh, like like woman on man like abuse that doesn't get reported i think that's so shameful it's wrong i think that's their foreplay though he likes it he dressed up like this and went out in public he likes it this was like their night they were gonna get drunk and that's their foreplay i i I think the thing is it's it's kind of like the story in in high school like if if the male teacher dates the female student wrong creepy but the hot you know, female teacher dates the sixteen-year-old kid. Oh, yeah. Go him. Oh, yeah. Go him. We all want him. him. You know we what I mean? It's it's, it's kind of it. like that thing. Like a guy hits his woman, not condoning it. Um, poor him. Guy, you know, woman beats her husband. Good for her. Yeah. Well, it's turn about. Uh, he deserved it. It's, it's, surely, it's a double it's standard. Halloween, whatever it it happens. Yeah, on and Halloween, well, it's okay. Well, yeah, pa- you know, pagan holiday. There, there, there's no rules. No. Oh, the well, dead come to no life. Rules, beat, just your, right. beat your loved ones. I'm, I'm, not, baby, uh, I'm not condoning on Let's, way, uh, let's wrap it up. One, one more story. One, one more story. Okay. Uh, women told 
A woman told police that someone had broken into her home, cooked all of her bacon in the microwave, and then drank three beer cans of Bud Light. Mm. He stole nothing else in the house and has not been found. But this was not the first time a criminal has been tempted by bacon. Last year, Missouri man was sentenced to seven years in prison for breaking into a woman's home, frying up some bacon, and then leaving. In 2011, three teenagers broke into an Indiana store freezer and made out with $90 worth of bacon. Wow, that's a commodity. I, I, <laughs> it's I, happening. It, oh, that's pigs. Uh, They're being murdered. It, it, is a, it is a commodity. Yeah. Like wow. frozen concentrated orange juice <laughs> or oil. Yeah. Wow. But what, uh, you don't want to take anything else, though. Just the bacon. Wow, it's, uh, they it's interesting. Uh, I can't imagine breaking into someone's house and... Uh, Hey, uh, uh, turn the oven on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he used the microwave. He yeah, wanted right. it to be quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a bunt cake. I'm gonna preheat <laughs> it to 425. In there, just, just use it. Just use. Got the beater wow. out and I'm mixing so wait, butter. This guy's stealing bacon from a home. Yeah, yeah. 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 He cooked, house, like, he, yeah. but he cooked it there. He he broke in. He was just homeless and hungry for a little bacon. bacon. He was really. Yeah, and she came home. That's how she knew. She came that, home and she immediately smelled bacon when she opened her door. Let's let's dive deeper and figure out um, what else was in this fridge that this man only took bacon. Like, oh, yeah. is this? You said where? Where was this? Uh, Missouri. Some people like uh, bacon a lot. Missouri. Uh, like, okay. Good I question. Was, people I, have a bacon fetish I, these days. I was just gonna say, like, if it was L.A., you know, there's a lot of crazy shit. It'd be but, turkey bacon. But people love bacon, though. They do. They, they, they do. people. People do love. Bacon. People be loving their bacons. Yeah, but there was probably some Rolexes upstairs. You know I what told I mean? you guys about how bacon, you know, uh, stunts hungry. your sperm count. Yes, I already told you guys that. Yeah, well, you did. yeah, but that I don't think these criminals knew that. No, they, they, they didn't don't, know. Uh, strike me as the type. This uh, dude's looking about a full belly, not a full sperm count. I think yes. he was just a homeless guy. Listen, he's harmless. He's hungry. He goes in the house. Mm, bacon looks good. Some beer. I'm going to do this. She's obviously at work for the day. He takes his time. He's probably already a little drunk. The only, th- the only thing that I can think of to, to understand these criminals, and they are criminals, to oh. sneak into someone's house and, you know, I, I have someone years. living with me right now and he has stolen <laughs> <laughs> bacon. <laughs> no, no, I don't own bacon. Uh, he, he's taking that. Uh, Looking out for that sperm. Be- beverages. Well, no, no, no. He's uh, taking bread. Uh, I know, I know of some bread. Uh, when you're down Do you count side, your slices? Look, look, like, what, uh, look. Do you the, leave passive aggressive sticky notes on your bread loaf? No, no. It's not like, it's not like, hey, this is, ca-. like when I worked at an insurance company, I'd always uh, steal bagels from people out of their fridge oh. and they'd be like, hey, this is Carol. Whoever stole my bagels, I want you to know that uh, I'm not happy about that. And you need to replace them. Yeah. <clears throat> that was you? Yeah, it was me. Yeah, got, you do, but you do that on. now on your bread loaf. You count yeah. your no, breads, no, no, no. You my new, count your slices. N- n- my new roommate does that. You're I'm pretty a, sure. You're a slice counter. <laughs> I'm a slice counter. <laughs> you know, someone ate my goddamn uh, jam jelly, uh, j- uh, strawberry jelly, and then <laughs> the indecency, <laughs> the fucking the audacity, <laughs> leave it empty. <laughs> 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 you couldn't even stick your finger in there. Can and, like, you imagine being hungry out? for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> I love Finding it. in the refrigerator an empty container of jelly. Yeah, that's a big blue How ball. How insulting! Oh the, oh, the humanity. Yeah, that's well, really oh, terrible. Oh, that's my life. Oh. So I can totally Help relate me, to those. Right? I can totally relate <laughs> to those pig, uh, you know, uh, swine uh, yeah. likers. You know Swine I mean? likers. Well, no. At least he didn't like steal her precious jewels or anything. Just yeah. a little bacon. A little bacon. Can you believe though? Seven years. A seven-year sentence. Well, yeah. Well, you know why? Service. Because it, like, like, seriously, everyone here in this room. If someone. Someone breaks into your house, steals bacon. You pressing charges? <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, I am. I would, I feel like he may have like also smelled my panties and like took a shit or something. So I would be a li- feel a little violated. But seven well, years is a lot. Well. If he did. I didn't take a shit when I broke in your house, Bethany. <laughs> he did it. All right, all right. Let's, uh, let's, all right, yeah. let's wrap it up, wrap on, it up. That, on that goddamn note. Though. I'm Bethany. That's the news. And I'm not the town whore. And she does not take a shit in her boyfriend's uh, bathroom. No, now I do. For We've been first, together for six for the years. I was year. shitting all over the place. Did. Oh, yeah, first no. Year you did. Maybe three years. I really right. liked him. <clears throat> all right, let's wrap it up, kids. Uh, Mikey, hit the music. Right, look, peeps. 
We need your support. We, we can't just hang out in the living room at 10 o'clock at night on like a night where we could be going out. Like it's so sad. We're, yeah, it's pretty sad. Like we got a bunch of people here hanging out. Like we would rather be doing other things. No, no I'm just kidding. <laughs> we want to be here for you. So, but we need you to spread the word. Okay, that's all we ask. To keep this pirate ship afloat. Tell some of your friends. That's all we ask. All right. We appreciate you listening. We'll see you on the next uh, podcast. God damn it. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again.